Hey guys, welcome to welcome to another vlog. As luck would have it, I am still sick. Shay and I have been sick for like, well Shay's been sick for like a week it seems like, but I've been sick for like three days. But it's just a cold, it's just like congestion, which I'm sure you can hear, so I won't talk too much on this intro, but I, it's the weekend, we were supposed to go to Nashville this weekend, and because we weren't feeling good, we decided not to, but we have a free weekend, and in true Sarah form, I can't sit still and just relax, even though I know I probably should be. But honestly, I feel fine. It's just the congestion that's kind of what's happening right now. So I have decided, we've decided to do some work on the house that we've been putting off. Um, I think we're gonna start organizing our garage, which is thrilling. Um, but I also need to baby-proof some doors because Chase has started to get into doors, like this door right here goes to our basement and she's starting to open it and there's like stairs down and it's just not really what we want her to be able to do. So I'm gonna try and baby proof some of these doors and I was gonna share with you guys what we got. So let's do that. Okay, so we got two types of door locks. This one, hold on. This one is just to like prevent the door from opening one way. So you can only use it on one side of the door. So we were thinking more so for the basement door and then also a closet that she keeps opening and pulling stuff out of we will do it on those and this one is actually a double-sided so you can open it and like lock it from either side so initially I can't remember where we said we were going to use it I want to say the pantry either the pantry or um or our master bedroom because she goes in there and tries to pull everything out of different rooms in there too so we only got one of them though because this one's actually a little bit more expensive so I wanted to try it before we bought more um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed so we'll see Taylor saw me trying to install that and he told me that I <laughs> he wants to do it he doesn't trust me even though it's literally so simple it's like you're just drilling it into the side so nice go down there yeah, you have to open the door. Go down there. Ha, <laughs> sucker. Uh-oh. Oh, Shay, Shay. She goes, uh-oh. 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 So Shay's swing is down there, and so she's been trying to go down. But now she can't. Yeah. Not without us. I don't know if I've showed you guys this. I'm really embarrassed to show you our basement. Chase swing is right there. Our next course of action is actually to get our garage prepped so that we can put all of our yeah. holiday decor in there. Um, but yeah, this is literally what we have right now. And our gym's right here. And yeah, this is it. baby girl up to paint and I always put her in this um, helper tower and put tape down for the paper just because it, it helps these from moving around of course and then the helper tower she of course can get out of it but I can see her when she's trying to get out of it versus like if she's on the floor she could just run and like touch our white chairs for example so this is a little bit easier to keep it contained you ready Here's where we installed the other locks. This is not organized, but this is like our coat closet. So we have all this stuff in here. And Shay always opens this and pulls all this stuff out, takes all the shoes out, takes everything out of the diaper bag. So now we don't have to worry about it, which is really nice. And then over here is our pantry door. This is the one that it doesn't go out, so we couldn't use one of these ones. Like this one goes out, blocks it. But because it goes in, we had to get a different one. So this is the one that we got, which is actually pretty convenient. So all you have to do, and I'm a little short, I'm like 5'2", so I have to stand on my toes to do that. 
but if you lock it like that, you can't go in. And then the other great thing is if you want to put this on a door like your, like your master bedroom, for example, if you go into the pantry, you actually can do it both ways. So we lock it. So if somebody was like in your master bedroom and you're trying to keep your daughter from going in there, either one of you could lock it from either side. So really convenient. Right, Shay Shay? Ooh, so pretty. All right, so we are officially taking on garage organization, which is so 30s of us. <laughs> Um, but we have all that stuff in the basement that I just showed you guys and we want to get organized and stop using the basement as storage because someday we want it to actually be an entertaining space. So we're going to start to put up storage in here and try and get most of it in here. It's going to take a while. It won't be an overnight thing, but we're getting started. It's here. Do you want to help me? Hey guys, okay, so I'm finally going to put this tree in a pot. And I'm a little bit nervous because I posted this on Instagram the other day that this tree was really hard to grow. And it's not impossible though. Everything I've read online seems like it's not rocket science. So I'm going to do my best, but I had this idea and I bought this stuff the other day at the store um, on Sunday. But the, I'll insert the picture, like the inspiration picture for this tree that I'm hoping to get to one day. Um, of course, Athena Caldron is like the main inspiration behind it because the planter in this picture, I'm gonna try and recreate as well, or I did, I'll show it to you in a second. Yeah, what I think is really, let me just show you, hold on. Okay, so I know this looks kind of crazy right now, but this is just like a plain piece of fabric around the planter. But what I'm really excited about is that this planter underneath this fabric has a, you can move it, it's on wheels. So what I've heard is this tree really likes a lot of sunlight. So I'm hoping that like if I plant it and I get it a lot of sunlight every now and then, like maybe once a month, just put it into my dining room where all the natural light normally comes in. It's really um, like rainy and gross out right now, so there's no sunlight. But I'm hoping if I can like roll it over into the sun for one full day a month, then it'll help it grow. They said these types of trees, they can survive in low shade, so it's fine to have it in a room such as like over in this corner, they just won't grow as tall. So at least it won't die, which is good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant it. And this, I just got this from Target, but it doesn't have holes at the bottom. Like this is an outdoor planter that has the hole at the bottom and I don't wanna ruin that corner over there. So I got a planter to put inside that doesn't have holes but does have what looks like to be like a channel where water can drain out so it doesn't drown your tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant it in here with some good fertilized soil, put it over in the sun over there so the next few days it can get sun and just acclimate to the temperature of our home and then I will move her over into this corner.
just wanted to show you guys my little baby getting some sunlight. But yeah, I'm hoping she starts to feel just more settled into this home before I move her into the corner. I'll probably bring her in here, like this corner, with all the light every now and then, just because I feel like I've heard that these trees grow best in direct sunlight and that corner over there does not get direct sunlight. So I might try and grow her in this corner maybe like once a week, once a month. We'll see what I end up doing, but I just love it so much. In other news, I did get my bangs trimmed today and they're just a little bit shorter, a little bit more like, she's called them like 70s. But we have an event this weekend, so I wanted to get them trimmed up and just looking a little bit more layered, I guess. So yeah, I've been loving the bangs lately. On today's episode of things that TikTok made me buy, um, I ordered some organization drawers for my refrigerator to put some like berries. I think we'll put berries in one of the drawers. I didn't realize how big these were, but I think I can fit all the berries in one drawer. And then probably just some like vegetables in the top one. Um, and then this little bowl that I can wash my vegetables. There's tape on it, which I have to get off, but essentially you can fill this whole thing with water and let your veggies soak in it. And I saw the girl, I'm, forget, I'm blanking on her name. She's, um, she's actually pretty big on TikTok. I want to say she has like 14 million views. It's like Carly or something. I can't remember. I'll try and find her and link her below. But she doesn't have this one. I, I got this one because I like the way it looked. No, like no shocker there. Um, but she would wash her fruit in like a, basically a bowl. It's like a colander within a bowl. So she could like let her fruit sit for a second. And she put, um, I think it's baking soda or something to help get them really, really clean. So that's why I got this to make sure my fruits and veggies are super, super clean. And then she just spend them out in the like salad spinner. And I have one of those already. Um, and then put them in these little drawers. So I'm copying her. I already, put, I already put one in. A package for Shay just came in from H&M. So I figured I'd show this with you, share this with you. I'll re-show the two things that I've already opened. The first one, I just got her this hat for the sun. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then I did get her one of these raffia hats, which I think are so cute. She actually had one last summer, but I had just gotten it off of Amazon and it wasn't great quality, of, of course. I say of course, you can find good stuff on Amazon, but the one I ordered wasn't good. So I got her this one and I think it's so cute. I just feel like she would look so cute wearing this on the beach or to the pool or just in our backyard. A little cardigan just to throw over her like summer clothes if it's a little bit chilly outside. Color. Shay does wear color. I'm like laughing because I took her to school the other day and I was talking to like the, I think you would call her the director of like the infant program that she's in. And she like came to the door and I don't know if she watches these vlogs, but it's just like a funny story. I'm not like mad about it. I just think about it a lot. But she goes, she was like, Sarah, have you ever seen on TikTok the sad beige baby? And I was like, no, I haven't. What do you, like, I actually hadn't seen it. But sad beige baby is like, I guess like a trending hashtag or just like a concept that people use for like babies that only wear neutrals and their home is all color free. And you guys know who I'm talking about, like all the Montessori based kids that just have like zero color in their lives. And, and I was like, no, I'd never heard of that. And she goes, well, Shay's like a sad beige baby, but she's a happy beige baby. And I literally sat there and I was like, 
Was that a compliment? Like, I don't, I can't tell if she was trying to like make a comment about how Shay is dressed in neutrals or if it was like a compliment because she's happy. I don't know. But I was just like, I keep thinking about it because like Shay literally wears pink almost every day to school. <laughs> like her jacket is pretty much this color pink and she wears pink like every day. I mean, I do dress her in neutrals often, but it's not every day. So like, I don't know. I was just... Obviously, I'm bothered by it because I'm like, do other people think she's a sad bitch, maybe? I don't know, but I don't really care. It's just like one of those comments that like has stuck with me, so I figured I'd share. Um, but yeah, so I got her this. It's a raincoat. How cute is this? And it looks very just like spring summery, and I just thought it was so cute for like a little girl. I don't know, I feel like she looks so cute in this. So cute. It's this little flouncy one piece. And it has this sweet little like fish beach type pattern on it. And the back has like this V with the ruffle down the back. And it's just too sweet, too cute. And I just felt like that's a good like grab and, grab and go swimsuit. And then I just got her a rash guard to match it. So I can throw this on top. So like if we're at the beach, for example, and I don't want her in the sun for too long, like her arms and all that, I can just throw the rash guard on over it. The next swimsuit is actually brighter than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. But it's this cute little floral pattern swimsuit, and it's just a one piece, but I just thought, again, this is a good one to just throw on if we're just going to the pool and not really doing anything, but she just needed like a swimsuit on. I felt like this was a good one for that. But I saw these on the website, and they're like linen shorts, and I feel like that could look really cute, so I picked these up. These also look really big. I don't think she can wear this anytime soon. Like little bike shorts, and they have like the ruffle at the bottom. This one has a pattern, just a little flower pattern on it, which I thought was really cute. And then these ones are just beige. So yeah, that's like a good throw on. Ripped short. About it. Oh, I did get another package. I guess I can show you guys that too since we're doing this. So here's the bag, and I think it's like such a cute summer pool beach bag. And what I really liked the most about it is it had this pocket right here that I feel like you can just like slide your phone in, so it's not having to throw your phone in like the big bag. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I feel like this has a lot of room in it. It'd be a perfect beach bag. Love it. Shay got a new package in from Zara. I know I just showed you guys the H&M order, but I've been on an order spree and she's in the corner with that hat on, putting on a t-shirt as pants. Um, I threw all her clothes in here that are new, but here's some of the Zara things that we ordered, which I thought were really cute. This like watermelon sweatshirt and it's a thin sweatshirt. So it's like summery sweatshirt which I just thought was really cute. And then speaking of sweatshirts, I also got her this flower sweatshirt that comes with these, or doesn't come with them, but you can buy these as a set. The pants that match, Ugh, just love that. I got this really cute like linen-y top for her, balloon sleeve, which these shorts were from H&M, but I thought they matched kind of well, so I thought that'd be really cute. Yeah? Okay. Um, what else did I get? So these little leggings for school. A little t-shirt for school. It just has like a little pocket detail. These leggings, which actually matches the shirt that Shay has on right now on her legs. So I thought that was a cute little set to throw on. Another pair of leggings. You can't ever have too many. I got a few just regular t-shirts, just like a plain white t-shirt and like a tan beige kind of t-shirt, which that t-shirt would look cute with this, which is from H&M. Oh, this t-shirt that I got her for school is so cute. It has this little strawberry on the top and then it has the frill. I thought that was so cute. A long sleeve t-shirt. I feel like you can never have too many t-shirts. 
And I think that was it for Zara. So, so yeah. She is set for the next few months, which makes me so happy. So we have an event. I apologize, my hair is like just out of the shower. Um, we have an event tonight and we have a babysitter for shape. Our, our old nanny, Ellie, is coming to watch her. What? Do you need help? You wanna bring it over here? Okay, what do you wanna do, put it on? Do you wanna put it on? Or what do you need? Okay, I'll put it back in there. Okay. Um, anyway, so Ellie's coming to watch Shay for the night and Taylor and I are gonna go to dinner and then go to this event. It's like a family event. But we just decided I think we're gonna bring Shay to the family event. So we might go get dinner and then have Ellie like show up with Shay for a minute at this just like event that we have tonight, which I think will be so fun. But now I have to figure out what to put her in because it's actually a little chilly outside. So I feel like she might need to wear like pants and a sweater because it's cold. But I have all this like cute new spring stuff that I could put her in. So I'm just trying to decide because I want her to look nice too. I don't really have like good nice clothes for winter. I did get a like matching, okay. Can you not? That's, no, no, no. Um, so that is the current struggle of the day is trying to figure out what she can wear that looks nice, that's also warm. So I'm gonna go make her lunch, but I'll talk to you later.